Let's put the finishing touches on it. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep. I can't believe we're almost done with the backyard project. It's looking amazing. I know. It's come together better than I imagined. Just a few more things to do. Let's put the finishing touches on it. Agreed. We still need to plant those flowers along the walkway. Did you decide on which ones? Yeah, I went with a mix of daisies and lavender. I think they'll add a nice pop of color and fragrance. Perfect choice. I'll start digging the holes for them. What about the garden lights? I've got them right here. I was thinking of spacing them out along the path and around the seating area. Sounds good. That'll create a nice ambience for evening get-togethers. And the new patio furniture should arrive tomorrow. Just in time. We can set it up and have a little celebration to break it in. Absolutely. After all this hard work, we deserve a relaxing evening out here. Definitely. It's been a lot of effort, but seeing it all come together makes it worth it. In the makeup store. Hi, I'm looking for a foundation that's good for oily skin. Could you help me find something? Of course. We have a few options that are great for oily skin. Do you prefer a matte finish or something more natural? I like a matte finish to help control the shine throughout the day. In that case, I'd recommend this line here. It's designed specifically for oily skin and provides long-lasting matte coverage. We can try a couple of shades to see which one matches your skin tone best. That sounds good. Can we try this medium shade here? Absolutely. Let's apply a little on your jawline to see how it blends. How does that feel on your skin? It feels quite light. I like it. Does it come with SPF? Yes, it has SPF 15. So it offers some protection against the sun. Perfect. I'll take one. Do you have any setting powders to go with it? Yes, we have translucent and tinted options. Let me show you. Makeover, transform or renovate. Did you start on that big garden project you were talking about? Yes, we finally broke ground last weekend. We're making over the entire backyard. It's going to be a lot of work, but totally worth it. That sounds like a massive undertaking. What's the plan for the space? We're adding a new patio area and some raised beds for vegetables. There's also going to be a dedicated section for herbs and a small greenhouse. It must be exciting to envision the transformation. How did you come up with the design? We worked with a landscaper to make sure we're making the most of the space. She helped us figure out where to place everything for the best sun exposure and drainage. Smart move. It's impressive how much planning goes into a proper garden makeover. Definitely. It's a big project, but seeing it all come together will be amazing. I'm looking forward to enjoying the outdoors more once it's done. It'll be like having a brand new garden. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Let's give it our all.
Have you heard about the Community Marathon next month? They're raising funds for the local children's hospital. Yes, I saw the posters. I've never run a marathon before. Though, do you think we could actually do it? Why not? We have a month to train. And it's for a good cause. Let's give it our all. What do you say? It does sound like a great opportunity to help out. Plus, it might be fun to challenge ourselves like this. Exactly. We can start slow, maybe a few short runs each week, and build up from there. There's plenty of beginner training plans online. That's true. And it would be more motivating to train together. We could keep each other on track and stay motivated. Agreed. Let's plan our schedules and set some milestones. It'll be rewarding to cross that finish line knowing. We contributed to something meaningful. All right, I'm in. Let's register this weekend and start our training. It'll be a tough ride, but worth it. Great. Here's to us running for a cause and pushing our limits. Service on the plane. Excuse me, could I get a blanket? It's a bit chilly here. Of course, I'll bring one over right away. Would you like anything to drink as well? Yes, could I have a cup of tea, please? Absolutely. Would you like black tea or herbal tea? Herbal tea would be great. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be back with your tea and blankets in just a moment. Here's your blanket and herbal tea. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's perfect, thanks. Actually, wait, could I also have a small snack? Of course. We have pretzels, cookies, or fruit. What would you prefer? Some fruit would be nice. All right, I'll bring that right out for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Just let me know if you need anything else. Showbiz. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make. I've been reading up on how tough the showbiz industry can be. What's been your experience in the field? It's definitely a roller coaster. Lots of upless and downs. You need thick skin to handle the constant changes and the competition. Sounds intense. What do you think is the key to actually making it? Persistence is everything. Talent is important. But being able to keep going even when it's tough counts for just as much, if not more. Have you found that networking is as important as they say? Absolutely. It's often about who you know as much as what you know. Meeting the right people can open doors that otherwise would stay closed. That makes sense. Any advice for someone looking to get into the industry? Stay dedicated. Always be ready to learn. And don't underestimate the importance of a good impression. Oh, and always read your contracts carefully. Great advice, thanks. It sounds like a challenging but exciting world. It definitely is. If you love it, it's worth every effort. Traveling by train. Is this seat taken? No, go ahead. Great, thanks. It's my first time on this route. Does this train stop at Riverside Station? Yes, it does. Riverside will be the fourth stop from here. You've got about 30 minutes. Perfect, that gives me enough time to settle in. Is there usually a dining car on this train? 
Yes, there's one two cars back. They have some decent options if you're hungry. Or just want a coffee. That sounds good. I might head over there in a bit. Do you travel this route often? Pretty regularly, yeah. I commute for work. It's a nice ride, usually pretty smooth. Good to know. I'm travelling for a meeting in Riverside. I hope it's a scenic route. Oh, definitely. Especially as you get closer to Riverside. The views by the river are beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for the info. No problem. Enjoy your trip. Put through. Connect by phone. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I... Hi. I was trying to reach Sarah earlier, but couldn't get through. Could you help me with that? Sure. I can put you through to her. Do you have her number? Yes, I do. But I keep getting her voicemail. Do you think she might be busy? It's possible. She's been in meetings all day. Let me see if I can connect you. Thanks. I really need to discuss the project updates with her before the end of the day. No problem. Hold on a moment. I'll try to put you through again. I appreciate it. This project is quite important, and we're on a tight deadline. I understand. Let me just check her availability. All right. I'm putting you through now. Great. Thank you so much. I'll wait. You're welcome. If you still can't reach her, I'll send her an urgent message to call you back. That would be very helpful. Thanks again for your assistance. Kick off, begin or start, often used for sports matches. So, how did the weekend kick off for you? Did you start with your usual jog in the park? Actually, yes, I did. But this time, I kicked off a bit differently. I joined a local running group. There were about 10 of us, all pacing through the park at 7 a.m. It was refreshing. That sounds like a great way to start the day. I usually struggle to even get out of bed that early on a Saturday. I used to be the same, but I found that having a group waiting for me really motivates me to not hit the snooze button. How about you? How did your Saturday kick off? Well, mine was less sporty. I kicked off the weekend with a marathon session of my favorite show. I think I watched five episodes back to back. Sounds like a perfect relaxed morning. Sometimes, those are just what you need to recharge. I'm so sorry to hear that. Did you hear what happened to Jake? No, what happened? He got laid off from his job yesterday. I'm so sorry to hear that. How is he handling it? Not well. He's really stressed out and worried about finding another job soon. That's understandable. The job market is pretty tough right now. Yeah, and he's got a family to support, so the pressure is really on. Does he have any leads or plans yet? He's been reaching out to his network and applying online, but nothing concrete yet. Maybe he should consider some freelance work in the meantime. It could help bridge the gap. That's a good idea. I'll suggest it to him. 
He needs all the support he can get right now. Definitely. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Thanks, I appreciate it. We all need to be there for him during this tough time. Absolutely. Let's hope he finds something soon. I'm so impressed by your dedication. Have you been practicing the guitar every day? I heard you playing yesterday, and you sounded amazing! Thanks. Yes, I've been trying to get at least an hour of practice in each day. I'm so impressed by your dedication to your own hobbies, it inspired me to stick with it. That's great to hear. It's paying off. Your progress is noticeable. Any particular reason for the daily practice? I've always wanted to get better at it, and I figured consistency is key. Plus, it's a nice way to unwind after a long day. Absolutely. It's incredible what a bit of daily effort can do. What are you working on right now? I'm learning some classic rock songs. It's challenging but fun. Next, I want to try composing my own pieces. That's ambitious. I'm sure you'll do great. Have you thought about joining a local band or performing? Maybe eventually. For now, I'm just enjoying the learning process. But who knows where it might lead? Keep at it. Your dedication is really inspiring. I might pick up a new hobby myself. Own up, confess or admit. Have you ever broken something valuable and had to own up to it? Yeah, actually. Last year, I accidentally knocked over my friend's antique vase. I felt terrible. Oh no, that must have been awkward. How did you handle it? I had to own up to it right away. I apologized and offered to pay for the damages. How did your friend react? They were upset at first but they appreciated that I owned up to it. In the end, they said it was an accident and forgave me. That's good to hear. Owning up to mistakes is always the best policy. Definitely. Have you ever been in a similar situation? Yes. Once I accidentally spilled coffee on a coworker's laptop, I had to own up to it and report it to our manager. That sounds stressful. What happened next? The manager was upset. But since I owned up to it immediately, they appreciated my honesty. The company's insurance covered the repair costs. That's a relief. It's never easy to own up to mistakes, but it's the right thing to do. Absolutely. It builds trust and shows that you take responsibility for your actions. I agree. It's a valuable lesson in both personal and professional relationships. That's none of your business. Have you heard about the new restaurant that opened downtown? It's supposed to have an amazing selection of international cuisine. And I'm king of checking it out. This weekend. What are your plans? Actually, I did hear about it. But I'm not really in the mood for dining out these days. I've been trying to save money for a big purchase. I've been planning. What about you? Why are you suddenly interested in trying new places? I've been stuck in a routine for a while now. And I thought it might be refreshing to explore something new. Especially with all the rave reviews it's been getting. Besides, it's been a while since I treated myself to a nice evening out. 
By the way, what's this big purchase you're saving up for? That's none of your business. I prefer to keep my plans to myself until they're more concrete. Anyway, how's your project at work going? Last time we spoke, you mentioned you were facing some challenges. It's been a roller coaster, to say the least. The deadlines are tight, and the expectations are high, but I'm managing. It's all about balancing priorities and staying focused on the end goal. Brush up on, improve, refresh one's knowledge of something. Have you ever thought about traveling to France? Yes, actually. It's on my bucket list. I've always wanted to see Paris and the countryside. That's awesome. Do you speak any French? I studied it in high school, but I'm pretty rusty. I definitely need to brush up on my French before going. That makes sense. How do you plan to brush up on it? I'm thinking about taking an online course and maybe using some language apps. Do you have any recommendations? Duolingo is pretty good for brushing up on basic skills. You could also try watching French movies or listening to French music to get a better feel for the language. Those are great ideas. I'll start with Duolingo and see how it goes from there. Any specific movies or music you'd suggest? For movies, you could start with Amelie or La Haine. As for music, try listening to artists like Edith Piaf or Strome. Perfect. Thanks for the suggestions. I think brushing up on my French will make the trip much more enjoyable. Definitely. Plus, locals always appreciate it. When you make an effort to speak their language... True. I'll get started on brushing up my skills right away. Can't wait for the trip. Wind up, end up. Did you hear about the camping trip Mark went on last weekend? Yeah, I heard something about it. How did it go? It was supposed to be a simple weekend trip, but they wound up getting lost in the woods. Really? How did that happen? They took a wrong turn while hiking and wound up miles away from their campsite. They didn't have a map, and their phones had no signal. That sounds stressful. How did they find their way back? They wound up walking for hours until they found a park ranger who guided them back to their campsite. I'm glad they found help. Did they still manage to enjoy the trip? Surprisingly, yes. Even though they wound up in a tough situation, they said it was quite an adventure and made for some great stories. That's good to hear. Sometimes those unexpected moments wind up being the most memorable. Definitely. It just shows that even when things don't go as planned, you can still have a good time. Exactly. I'll have to remind myself of that. Next time, something doesn't go according to plan. Play down. Minimize the importance of something. Did you hear about the new policy changes coming next month? They seem pretty significant. Yeah, I saw the email, but I think the management is trying to play it down. They mentioned it only briefly at the end of the meeting today. I noticed that too. They seem to focus more on the upcoming company events rather than the policy changes. It's a bit concerning. True, they should definitely address it more thoroughly. 
A lot of us have questions and concerns about how these changes will affect our daily work. Exactly. I get the feeling they're minimizing the impact to avoid pushback. We should request a dedicated session to discuss this in detail. I agree. Understanding the full scope is crucial for everyone. Playing down something this important doesn't really help in the long run. I'll talk to HR and see if we can arrange a meeting. It's better to have all the information up front. Good idea. Let's make sure we're fully informed so we can prepare adequately. Let's turn the tables. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy. Have you noticed how we always end up at the same cafe every week? Maybe it's time for a change. That's true. It's comfortable, but a bit predictable. What do you have in mind? Let's turn the tables. Instead of coffee, how about we try that new smoothie bar downtown? I heard they have some unique blends. Smoothie bar? That's definitely a shift. What made you think of that? Well, we always talk about trying to be healthier, and they use all organic fruits and veggies. It could be a tasty way to stick to our goals. I like that idea. It's something different, and it might give us a new weekend spot to add to our rotation. Exactly. And it's nice to mix things up a bit. If we enjoy it, we could make it a regular thing. Maybe even explore other new places each month. I'm sold. It'll be our little adventure. Exploring new spots could become our new tradition. Great! It's a date then. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. But I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me, and honestly, I'm not. Paying ways. I'd like to pay for these items. Could you tell me what payment methods you accept here? We accept cash, credit cards, and mobile payments like Apple Pay and Google Wallet. Which one works best for you? I might use my credit card. Do you take all major ones? Yes, we take Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Great. Actually. Do you offer any discounts for using a specific payment type? Some places have promotions. Currently, we offer a 5% discount if you use our store credit card. If you don't have one, I can help you apply right now. It only takes a few minutes. I appreciate that. But I'll stick with my regular credit card today. No problem at all. Please insert your card when you're ready. And follow the prompts on the screen. Here you go. All set. Here's your receipt. Thank you for shopping with us. Taking pictures. Hey, could you help me take a picture with that statue over there? Sure, no problem. Do you want it in portrait mode or the regular setting? Portrait mode sounds good, thanks. All right. Just stand over there by the statue. Maybe put your hand on it. It might look more natural. Like this? Yeah, that's perfect. Smile. Got it. One second. I'm going to take a few more just to make sure we've got a really good one. Okay, done. Have a look and tell me what you think. Oh, these are great. Could you take one more from a lower angle? I read that it looks more dynamic. Sure thing. Let's try that. Okay, done. 
How about now? These are amazing, thank you. I really appreciate your help. No problem at all. Glad you liked them. I'm so glad we connected. I still can't believe we ran into each other at that conference last month. It had been years. I know, right? It was such a coincidence. I almost didn't recognize you at first. Same here. It's funny how we ended up in similar fields. And at the same event after all this time. I'm so glad we connected again. Me too. It's been great catching up over the last few weeks. We've missed out on a lot. Absolutely. And talking about our projects has been incredibly helpful. It's like having a sounding board. Who really understands the context? I was thinking the same thing. We should keep this collaboration going. Maybe we could even start a joint project. Or at least refer work to each other. That sounds like a great idea. With our combined expertise, I bet we could come up with something impactful. Definitely. Let's set up a time next week to brainstorm some ideas and see where it takes us. Perfect. I'll send you an invite. Looking forward to it. That's a sign of progress. Have you seen the old theater downtown? They finally started the renovations. Really? That building has been dilapidated for as long as I can remember. That's a sign of progress. Absolutely. The plan is to turn it into a community arts center. They're hoping it'll revive the whole area. That sounds like a fantastic project. It could really bring some life back to that part of town. Yeah, and they're incorporating both modern elements and preserving some of the historical aspects of the original structure. I love that approach. It respects the past, but makes it functional for today's needs. Are they seeking community input? They are. There have been a few town hall meetings already, and they're encouraging locals to share ideas and suggestions. That's a smart move. Engaging the community will definitely help ensure the project's success and relevance. For sure. Once it's completed, it should be a great venue for concerts, plays, and art exhibitions. I can't wait to see the final result. It's going to be a major boost for the city. <laughs> 